parole board in Georgia has not granted clemency to Troy Davis, which I honestly cannot believe. What country are we living in? Uh, of course, if you've been following the Troy Davis story, he was convicted of killing a police officer back in 1991. And uh, or he was tried in 1991, I should say. And even though people who were uh, witnesses uh, testifying against him, they've come out and said, uh, actually, we take it back. We're not 100 percent sure, even though three members of the jury uh, who found him guilty, even though they have come forward and said, no, we would like you guys to grant clemency because we're not sure and we don't think that this guy should be killed. Uh, even though they've come forward and said that, it doesn't matter. The parole board in Georgia has denied him clemency and he is scheduled to be executed tomorrow, uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Now, uh, you might dismiss all that. I don't know why you would. Uh, and Amnesty International called it unconscionable. You might dismiss that. Okay, fine. How about Jimmy Carter, president, a former president of the United States? Oh, it's Jimmy Carter. He doesn't count. He actually cares about everybody. What a terrible mistake that is. How about if you're religious, Pope Benedict? Does he not count? Oh, no, he's just a pope. Uh, for other things, like when you're trying to deny people birth control, he counts a lot, right? But when it uh, comes to the death penalty, he doesn't count at all. Okay, you dismiss him. How about former conservatives or current conservatives like uh, former Congressman Representative Bob Barr? How about an ex-Justice Department official Larry Thompson? How about the former FBI Director William Sessions, who have all said, do not execute this guy. There are grave concerns about this case, right? Now, here's the thing. Nobody's saying, or at least I'm not saying, let the guy go, right? Now, if you want to do a process where, by which you decide whether he's actually innocent, ah, great, fantastic, right? But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about at this point, just don't kill him tomorrow. Okay, you know what? What's the worst case scenario? He remains in jail for the rest of his life? Like, because some people obviously think he's guilty, right? Yeah, like the family of the victim, okay? okay. The police officer that was killed, the family's been interviewed by the, the press, and of course they're saying, no, 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 his uh, execution has been rescheduled four different times. Enough is enough. We want to start our lives over again, get rid of this guy, execute. However, there's new DNA evidence suggesting that he is not the man who uh, shot the police officer. There is actual proof that says that this might not be the right guy. Now, think about this, right? Okay, so you execute the wrong guy, apparently you might not care about that, if that's the case. Don't you wanna be 100% sure? All right, but how about the fact that you won't get justice for the guy who actually killed your dad? How about that? Yeah, exactly. You know, there are several witnesses saying, no, we, we saw the guy who actually killed him, it's not Troy Davis, right? You tell me you're 100% certain the, the, parole, the pardons board here is, a hundred percent certain, beyond a, any reasonable doubt, that this guy was definitely, a, despite this mountain of evidence, that should at the very least make you reconsider enough to say, hey, maybe we should just let him stay in prison for life for the moment being, you know, and it, so we don't execute him tomorrow and make a terrible mistake we cannot recover from. But nope. They're, they're tough guys, they're tough. He, they say, oh, well, you know, we understand the emotions of a death penalty. This isn't about emotions. This isn't about, hey, oh my God, I feel bad for the guy who shot the cop. Okay, the guy who actually did the killings is a terrible guy. And he was pistol whipping a homeless guy and then he shot a cop and killed him, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't know it's this guy. If you were 100% certain you had the right guy, you know me, I, I, you know, look, the re only reason I'm against the death penalty is because we're not certain, like this case, right? If we were certain, it'd be a different question, because I get emotional for the victims, okay? This isn't about emotion, it's about, you knuckleheads, you might kill the wrong guy. I, can't, I keep saying it because I can't believe that they're not moved by that. It, it, they're not moved by it, it's almost as if they don't care. Even if they have evidence slapping them in the face saying, no, this is the wrong guy, they still don't care. They don't even want to retry this guy, which is amazing to me, okay? I, and I, I don't know what their reasoning is behind that. And if anything, this case is just one example, and, and it's a perfect example of why the death penalty just does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. There's human error that comes into play, there's bias that comes into play. There's an innocent man who's about to, or possibly innocent man, who is set to lose his life tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Regardless of the DNA evidence, regardless of testimony, regardless of any proof that is